how are you? It's May Tang again. So good to have the opportunity again to share what I know, and um, and this is one of the things that I really love to do to share uh, my knowledge and what I learned to, with everybody else. Today, I want to talk about how to brew the compressed tea, or some people call the break tea or Yunnan poor tea. Okay, um, a lot of people say that. Poor, poor, or basically it's just the same thing, poor tea. All right, poor tea in China. Uh, you can see the color, and this is the brick style. Sometimes we make it pie style, sometimes sometime it's a loo style, some is like a mushroom style, and uh, this is the brick style. And poor, um, also in China, considered as Chinese black tea. Hei cha, Chinese black tea, and those uh, those uh, uh, black most black tea was in in part of from Yunnan and Sichuan and Hunan and those area, and uh, I think I want to cover also the uh, Tibet as well. Okay, that's called Chinese black tea, but actually the ordinary black tea people now call black black tea in English or Indian. It's really in China we call Red tea, we call Hong Cha. It's red tea, just like this. I just brew. See the color? It's really red. It's for us. We call that is red tea, but in the Western world, it called black tea. So this is our black tea. All right. Today, I want to show people how to brew the black tea. First of all, you want to break it. Break the break tea is uh, um, uses something like this, a very sharp uh, uh, tool. Sometimes it's flat, and this is really kind of uh, pointy. And you use the, you tell the tea a little bit. You can hold it this way. Um, go through the center. You basically break this way. See, the tea. It's easy to break it. It means that uh, well, if you have older tea, it's easy to break it. That means the production and storage is the finest. You know, unless we we'll call the iron pine, you can't really drink it. You can, but some people don't drink it. That's too compressed, and you don't really. It really cannot easy to age of the tea itself. If you can't get into it. Okay, so. I told people don't use my hand, but this time it's an exception because uh, oh, I find a way. Ta da! Okay, good. All right. Okay, brew the black tea or compressed poor tea. This is called poor tea. And by the way, this kind of tea is poor. Have two different kind of poor: raw poor or cooked poor. And this is cooked poor. Cooked poor is good for your stomach, lower your cholesterol, lower your sugar, and most important is is uh, lower. Um, God, what do you call the, the? I say that cholesterol, right? Cholesterol and sugar. Um, so. First of all, you want to warm your pot. And uh, this kind of clay pot, sometimes uh, you have the way to, to take care of that and to, um, to make sure that the, the, the pot itself eventually the surface is getting shinier, and uh, uh, you can tell you take your pot in the correct way. Um, so, what do is pour the tea water out. I love the clay pot because clay pot gives you a lot of uh, uh, flexibility to your tea. Okay. I have a little uh, tool that 
to guide the tea into the pot. I don't have it right now, but it's a little half wider, a little wider like a ring to guiding your tea inside so it won't, you know, leak out. All right, now you see the water is boiled. You want to use the boiled water. First of all, you want to wash your tea. Poor tea is the one that produced a very com complex, and especially the cooked pour, you want the really fermented until a certain flavor. So you want to wash more than one time. That's one way you wash it. I wash, normally I wash two times. And this is how I take care of my pot. Again, this is, you have to use 100% boiled hot water for poor tea. And uh, the good taste, the perfect taste, I think, from out of the poor tea, I think is starting the fourth, fourth brew. You can, you can really enjoy the, the best quality of it. And then the duration is 15 to 20 seconds of the pour tea. And each additional brew, you want to add five, a maximum of eight seconds, each additional. I think this method apply to all other teas, but not consider including this green tea. Green tea is just, you know, just three times brew and then you're done with the flavor. So, okay. My pot too small, so I'm supposed to pour everything out. This is too small, so I will put it in here. The remaining, I'm going to put it in here. Coffee of pour tea, you can see the color is very crisp, and I don't know if you can get it uh, clean on the top of it. Very nice and very clear. It's not the uh, foggy, um, and that's uh, a good. At least the quality itself, the, the the material itself is a good good material to start with. And then of course we want to taste it and see how it tastes. I love this variety. I, I'm so glad that I found this tea is uh, is um, wild a tea that grow as high mountain. It's not man-made. It's not you know like a, a, a low bush and a low mountain. It's really high mountain and wild tea, which is uh, give you the great flavor. So that's what about the poor tea, and hopefully, I share what I know and people learn a lot from today. Thank you very much. Bye.